Hi, I'm Dr. Roadhouse, and this video is about the devastating effects that um, gluten uh, can have on your intestines. So if you're either gluten sensitive, or you have the gluten gene, uh, you might not know you have these, but <clears throat> that's what we're going to be talking about today. So anyway, this is a little diagram uh, to show you the small intestines. And um, <clears throat> these uh, depicted in the black are the villi. And, uh, what they do is they increase the absorption of the intestine because if you would stretch this right here all the way out and here you have this line down here this would probably be you know four or five times uh, larger than that so it increases the area that you can absorb the nutrients and that's basically what happens when you eat the food it goes in your stomach it digests goes in the small intestine and it has to be absorbed so if you have a gluten problem or you're gluten sensitive, what happens is that stimulates the immune system, an immune system attack. You have to remember 70 to 80 percent of your immune system is in the intestine. So if you have a problem with uh, gluten or any other uh, food that you're taking in that can cause a, a reaction, it's going to affect the intestine. And so the way that it works is that this barrier right here um, it is designed to show you that bad things or toxins or micromolecules can't get in. You don't have anything right here, but it's just to let you know that the villi can close up and they don't let the big particles in, which are usually macromolecule, they are macromolecules, which are usually detrimental. <clears throat> then when they sense the good nutrients in, they allow them in and you can absorb the nutrients. So this is <clears throat> the way that you want your intestine work. Stop the bad, the toxins, the macromolecules from getting in and absorb the good nutrients that the body needs that goes into the bloodstream. So what happens is that if you have a problem with gluten, it starts just chipping away over the years at your intestine or whatever other tissue, but this we're talking about the intestine. So what happens is you're eating gluten, you don't know there's a problem there, and it's just starting to <clears throat> eat away at the villa. <clears throat> it does it over a period of time. You might start getting some some symptoms, but you're not going to get it in the beginning process. It it's something that takes over time. So most of you can feel normal for a long time. Now all of a sudden your health is going south, <clears throat> and you're just not feeling good. One of the things that happens is as the the immune system starts attacking this area. It goes on the top. In the top and in the middle is where anything that has lactose, casein, milk. That's where the receptors are for it. <coughs> that is where it gets absorbed and digested. And so what happens is you might start thinking, wow, you know, every time I eat cheese or milk or butter, you know, <clears throat> I have a milkshake or anything like that, my stomach is kind of rumbling, maybe I get a little bloating, you know. <clears throat> it's hard to say, but you start seeing some changes. Well, that's what happens is it starts eating away. So what happens is as <clears throat> the gluten is attacking this, I mean, the, the, um, the immune system is attacking in response to gluten because it, <clears throat> then it starts doing more and more damage. And basically what happens is you have all this stuff here. And when you have <clears throat> long-term gluten problem, it's like a bulldozer comes in and just plows all this stuff away. It's moving all this area here. So what ends up happening <coughs> is you have this, a straight line. And when they do the, the GI series and a patient has a cell tell them it's like flat. There's nothing there. Oh, no big deal. Oh, it's a huge deal. Because what happens now is you don't have this function right here to stop the macromolecules any of the, the things that are in our food, like arsenic, mercury, um, <clears throat> any of the bacteria, virus, mold, fungus, now all that stuff that is supposed to be stopped right here from getting in to your intestine that goes in the bloodstream is now going. Now, when this happens, that's when you're going to see lots of symptoms. It's going to ruin your life. <clears throat> we have a test that shows for sure that you have this. We do tests that show us that you have a gluten problem. <clears throat> I've had patients that come in, oh, well, they've tested me for gluten, came back negative. Doesn't mean anything. They're not using the best labs in the world. How about this? 
How about if you thought, hey, you know what, maybe I have a gluten problem. I'm going to cut gluten out of my diet. You go and have this test run. It's going to come back negative. Why? Because you have to eat gluten while you're taking the test because the antibodies <clears throat> attack <coughs> when you eat gluten. Gluten has a protein it called gliadin. And so what happens is when that's in your bloodstream and you have a gluten gene, you have gluten sensitivity, it attacks it. So a lot of the doctors don't even know that when you test these patients, <clears throat> they need to be eating gluten so the test will come back positive. So you can get some false negatives. But <clears throat> long and short of it is that if you have this and you don't know you have it, you're going to have problems. You've been to other doctors. You're not getting any better. You need to come to someone that use different tests that most of your doctors don't know about and someone that's looking at this differently. Because if you go to the doctor, it's going to do the same exact test, same exact protocol, same thing all the other doctors did. What's the chance they're going to be helping you? Let's get you in the office for a free consultation, examination, see if you're a candidate for our program. You can call us at 918-481-2770. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you.